Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic, epic unboxing. So we got this box right here. Gotta open it up and see what exactly we have in here. So, oh, we've got this, dude. Big time hype. All right. Check it out, man. We've got this right here. It is the epic Bakugan Geogon Rising Geogon Brawler Pack featuring Aquas Hyenix and Pyrus Insectra. If you're wondering where I got this, it's on Amazon right now. So, yeah. Um, both of them looking so sick. Like, Insectra and Pyrus. Also, Hyenix with all the Aquas with it. And, yeah. What is that? That's a Darkest Bakugan. Not sure what it is right away. Um, that's a Ventus Bakugan. And then a Chaos Bakugan in there. Those two, I'm not really sure. And that's not Nilius, I don't think. No. No, because there's no heads on the sides. All right. Well, I mean, we'll find out <laughs> but uh yeah man so uh yeah you got hyenix and insectra up there looking like they're about to squat up like yeah let's go let's do work but here we go man what dude they're all new but i don't have any of these three and there's Aratoa. I'm so happy they made it, man. For sure. Because it was such a cool figure in the show. No doubt. And also, there'll be some episode reviews and stuff coming really, really soon. But, uh, yeah, man. You know, just a little patience for that. Like I said, doing a bunch of cranking and filming and such before going on vacation and all that good stuff. But, you know, still have vids and stuff planned for vacation and all that good stuff. But, yeah. Uh, Darkest Aratoa. Chaos Ninjaton. And Ventus Behemoth. Yo, that is sick. And Behemoth's looking so, so sick, too. All right, all right. Well, yeah, man. Without further ado, let's uh, get into it. Let's see if I can get them all out of there. Pretty smoothly, at least. All right, we're reptiring it a little bit. And also, as you can see, it's a part of the Villa Combiner. Well, you know, Insectra is the second part. So, yeah. Did that that and then gotta get the tape if if i can get it off anyways um um yeah there, there we go had to rep tired a little bit but it's fine uh yeah we're not too worried about the the sheet at this point we know all the background they're gonna be coming out like the background or geogon all that good stuff but yeah we gotta open this up to get the course because yeah, the core is for the the background are in there. There we go. All right, and then I'll just set those face down. And then the cards. I think this is one of the first times I actually go into the cards first before all the background. Yeah, I guess just switching it up a little bit might be a little bit unpredictable. All right, so let's see here. Insectra. Got to get that plastic. Drip. There we go. And then Hyenix. If I can get the plastic strip off anyways. There's two of them too. Oh goodness. Alright, got one. And there's the other one. Alright, so I think I think we're good to get it out. Alright, let's see. Yep, there we go. Hyenix out of there. Uh da, da. gotta get in Sectra. Just push a little bit. Be, be gentle. Gen, 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 gentle. Gentle. There we go. Okay. Got it out of there. And then Behemoth. Ninjaton. And Orto. And whoa. Yo, okay. All right. I think I know what order I'm going in first. The Bakugan are going second because it's the first that I have for all of them. So we're just getting into the Geogon. First, after we look at the cards and everything. So, yeah. All right. So, let's see here. Uh, Fangs or Mantanoid, 100, 600, 300, 100, 200, and 300. Aqua skin, the biggest boost with that. Seen that before. Same thing with the Pythion's card, you know, 700, 700, 700. Biggest boost for uh, Pyrus, Ventus, Chaos, Ar Arlis, Darkest, Aquas, not so much. And then the one with Batrix was Cyclonator. So, biggest boost for Chaos. Aqua's getting a decent one. Also, Dark is getting a pretty good boost, but not good for Pyrus and especially not good for Ventus. Uh, yeah, man. So, now we got to get into the cores. See what cores come with all of these. Uh, Bakugan. So, 
regular fist plus 100 aquas and pyrus plus three that is very very nice and yeah i'll put him this way all right and then we got a magic shield here Ooh, that's big uh plus 600 that's very nice the best being 650 you know for a standard bakugan but 600 definitely usable as well uh aquas and pyrus plus 400 for the shield that is very nice uh regular fist plus 150 plus two there's a lot of regular fists with this man all right plus three for that uh regular fist and then the last one plus 100 ventus and chaos getting plus three all right so overall really good cores with this set okay so now getting into the Geogon themselves. So we've got uh, Aqua's Hyenix here looking so sick in Aqua's. Got the orange on the feet, translucent blue plastic for uh, the arms and the shoulders. And also for the mane going back, got the orange for the ears, the, the eyes and the teeth and such. The detail with it too. Just so, so awesome, man. Looking really, really cool. And then a little bit of that translucent plastic for the tail. Uh, yeah, how strong is it? 2400. Okay, so probably like five, six costs for it. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, yeah, man. So, anyways, way to close it up. Manual parts. Boom, boom. Uh, arms, yeah. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. All that good stuff. Uh, okay. Put those back and then fold this over. And boom, there we go. Got it's uh, like a half cube. Reminds me of a piece of cheese. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Aqua's Hyenix in the closed form looking so sick. All that translucent plastic. Got the orange right there shining through as well. Looking really, really cool. So yeah. And then we've got Insectra here. 2800 for it. So probably same ballpark, like five, six costs for it. Uh, yeah, maybe even more, you know. But yeah, just rough guess. Um, but the translucent plastic for uh, the head part looking really, really sick. The wings having the translucent red plastic as well. Red paint on there too. Got the orange and the green paint for the body. Translucent plastic for the tail end. Looking so, so cool, man. And then, of course, the peg right there. So you can use it to uh, make Ultimate Villock. You know, when you're making the Ultimate Villock combiner. And then the way to close it, simple. Just bring it around town. Close everything up. All that good stuff. So, yeah, the rectangular prism, you already know, Pyrus, Insectra in the closed form, looking so, so cool, man, definitely dig and look for it, Pyrus symbol right there, the green shining on the outside, too, with the green paint, looks really, really dope as well, so, yeah, now, we gotta get into the Bakugan, man, so, um, I guess, first of all, we've got a Ninja Ton, we'll get into Ninja Ton, so, on the outside, this is what it looks like, man. But we got uh, that turquoise paint right there looking so sick. Got all the white, the sky blue right there as well. Chaos faction symbol with the black uh, really making it pop. But overall, a really, really interesting design for the outside of it. Like I said, this is my first Ninja Ton actually opening. It's one of the newest Bakugan added, you know, with the latest wave. So, yeah, what would this be? Like wave five? Maybe, yeah, maybe it'd be wave five. But, yeah, yeah. Um, just background waves are interesting. Anyways, here we go. Three, two, one. And oh, there it is. Yo, look at it. That's sick. Ninja Ton. He's got the ninja head right there. Got the arm sticking out and such. Look at the body. Like this part right here just folds down. This, yo, that shoots up. That's such an interesting design for sure, man. Then having these back parts right there. The V-Power is 600. So, I mean, if it has a regular shield with it or the magic shield, it can break 1,000, you know. But just got to wait to see how exactly their, uh, you know, their stats are. But overall, it's looking really, really sick, dude. All right. So, let's see. Um, Body in. That down. Yo, that clamps right in there. That's wild. That's That locks in there. Okay. And that's definitely not the first piece to go. Okay. Let's see. That's probably how to close it right there, which that's a really cool closing mechanism. So uh, back legs, all that good stuff. And then folding this down and then that right there. Yeah, that's what locks everything into place, which that's really, really cool. So you already know. Chaos, Ninja Ton in the closed form. Looking really, really sick. And the opening action for it, really, really sick as well. Can it pick up two cores? Um, Doesn't seem like it. It tries to, but it doesn't seem like it has enough strength to. But... Yeah, man, overall looking really, really sick. And all that paint for the face, too, for, like, the mask, the ninja mask. That's so cool. All right, then next up, we got uh, Ventus Behemoth here. 
um, you know, so got black paint on the outside, a big amount of it too, like really interesting to see that, then all of the green, of course, lime green going around the body as well, just overall a really, really interesting design, no doubt, and the Ventus Faction logo right there, yeah, dude, so, uh, anyways, see that opening action, three, two, one, Boom, there it is, Behemoth. Yo, check that out. It's got four wings. That's so, so sick, man. Look at all those wings. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, got the green for uh, the shoulder plates. And then look at the horn right there. Got the Behemoth type face, like little gremlin goblin face. Uh, yeah, overall looking really, really sick. Reminds me a little bit of Drago with the arms, like how the arms go out. But yeah, B power of what the fuck? 100 Oh man, well, dang, like that's pretty low. Even if it had the magic shield, it must have like a crazy effect with it. Yeah, like 100. Um, yeah, we'll have to see how this is used. Hopefully, it has some really good damage with it at least, because then it could be usable for a damage deck for sure. So, yeah, man, but this is definitely why I'd love to see cards that would be like, oh, lowest B power wins uh, the brawl, because it would be amazing. Because you have I've got like Behemoths here, which would benefit from it big time, man. Uh, for sure. But yeah, overall, it is looking so, so cool. And look at just all the... It's all on the wings, too. All the black paint is on the wings as well. And in the back of the head, you see it right there. Just so, so sick. It looks so awesome, man. No doubt. All right. And then last but not least, we've got Oratoa here. This is one Bakugan I really wanted to see actually get made into an actual Bakugan. And we got it, man. I hope... Uh, you know, honestly, with uh, Generations, or no, Evolutions is called. Bakugan Evolutions is the name of the next season, uh, season four that's coming. Uh, really hoping they do include some of the Bakugan they didn't make before. Like, we got Oratoa, um, so definitely glad to see that. Uh, I mean, hopefully it would be, like, Tico. Like, we get to see, like, actually, like, Tico, Artulian, some other Bakugan we didn't get a chance uh, to see. Like, Gorillion. Um, yeah, I would love to see them actually get ball forms. Especially Tico, because Tico's, like one of my favorite Bakugan ever, I mean, I just got, like, anybody doesn't know one of the tattoos I got, well, let's see, uh, Havix is right there, but right next to it is Tico's V-Virus symbol, because it's awesome, yeah, and I like Tico a lot, for sure, but anyways, man, just Oratoa looking so, so cool, got the white paint with it, too, we saw this uh, with Shark Tar, they've been doing this with a few of the Darkest Bakugan, adding the white paint as well, which is really, really sick, paint obviously the original Darkest, honestly, because they did include uh, some white with it like a little bit of silver and white with the original darkest but yeah of course the purple right there the swirls too zone eye anybody who's a zelda fan you'll get it but yeah i'm hyped for breath of the wild too and i hope the zone is in it anyways getting off track uh got the purple right there darkest uh symbol of course and just looking so so cool man like a full armored uh ancient warrior bakugan and i'm so glad we got oratoa man like it's the first step for sure all right three two one and boom there it is yo it reminds me of talion when it opens because just how the body is because you know the body shooting up uh right away and just like the arms and such sticking out and then the head going up definitely like i i feel like they may have been paying homage to talion a little bit with this design but overall still so so cool so you see oratoa's head with all the purple and the green right there for the eyes um, got the purple swirls right there, um, for the arms, like, it looks like, those are big old hands, it looks like, uh, yeah, dude, and then, uh, got the purple paint right there, and the cool thing about Oratora, they literally just, like, roll around, and that's how they battle and such, so it makes full sense, like, you know, uh, having this design, still utilizing a lot of just, like, the regular ball shape, because that was, like, it's a big time gimmick, and then also all the white on the inside, too, dude. Like, yeah, did they actually use white? It looks like they used white plastic for it, but yeah. And, yo, it's like the white on white background. Uh, yeah, so you can hardly see the B-Power right there. Definitely should use black for that, but still, it's B-Power is uh, 400. So, yeah, I mean, whoever has a magic shield would break 1,000. Well, besides uh, Behemoth. <laughs> uh, yeah, if the other two have a magic shield, then, yeah, they can break 1,000. But still, just so, so sick, man. Looking so amazing. Dude, I'm, I'm shook. They look so great. All right. But, yeah. Anyways, uh, we got to get into the cards now, man. So, Sonic Abyss. Three costs, plus four damage, and draw a card. Right there. Demork looking so, so cool. And you got GG down there. Hopefully, we see GG and Shields of Australia and Secrets of the Geogon. Like, for sure, it's been master. We want to see the cards. We all do. Um, so, we can make more deck profiles and such. I have a lot more planned once I get back from... Uh, 
vacation but yeah you already know still gonna be a lot of stuff coming even when i'm on vacation but sonic aura three costs plus six damage and scan so look at the top card of your deck if you like it leave it there if you don't like it put it at the bottom of your deck and crystallion looking really really cool man uh bullion blast what <laughs> whoa that's a new card plus two thousand and plus ten Holy smokes, that's a lot of power. That's a lot of power. You air zero that out, your opponent better be ready because that's a lot on both sides of the spectrum, man. Damage deck and also be power wise. Yeah, this is a crazy card, man. But eight costs for it. Yeah, um, it's definitely usable. And Oratoa putting in that work right there. So, so awesome, man. Bullion Blast. Razor Fin plus three damage and then plus one for the Frost Strike. Uh, two costs. This makes me want the GG set that much more because Bullion Blast is a very good card. No no doubt, man. Yeah. Um, imagine getting a place out of that in a deck. Oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah, dude. Then Razor Fin. And then Torch Horn. Six costs plus a thousand and double strike. Dude, these are some hard-hitting cards that come in the GG set. We got to see the GG set. And also Secrets of the Geo Gun and just, you know, Shields of a We got to see the cards, man. Come on, Spin Master. We love you. We say this out of love. We love this card game. We love this game and such. The only problem with it is not seeing the distribution for the cards. We really, really need to see that. I hope with Evolutions, they really figure it out and get those cards out. Even, like, the past waves, like, it's fine, you know. We just got to see them. For sure. Uh, yeah, that's that's a wild card. Torch Horns, that's another wild one. But Hyenix, 5 cost, 2,401. Victor Team Attack. So uh, it's getting up to 30, 50, and 1. Victor Team Attack. So if you use this second, like say you win with a Bakugan, and then you win with Hyenix, like you put out Hyenix for your second Bakugan, uh, while well, your Geogon taking the place, um, you get the Team Attack off that. The only bad part is you have to close up Hyenix and then the other Bakugan too, because it's a Team Attack. So... Yeah, but you know, five cost for that's a lot of that's a lot of power for sure. Insectra, five cost as well, twenty eight hundred and three. So wow, that's some serious power. Thirty four fifty and three five costs getting up there. That yeah, Insectra's not playing around Pirates Insectra ain't playing no games at all. Um yeah, then Behemoth, um one hundred and eight. And if it lands on a fist, it gets plus four hundred and uh the shadow strike. So still it's only putting it up to like five 50 yeah like well 650 yeah putting it up to 650 and uh and 10 or 611 but you get the shadow strike with it and honestly with the damage deck set up that could do some serious serious work because it's up there uh damage wise no doubt so definitely usable for a damage deck i'd say ninja ton 603 it has the magic shield and has a regular fist as well so you can make a holy flame setup with it if you want to or just go for the v power because it breaks a thousand no doubt uh 12 50 and 3 so yeah definitely breaking a thousand not playing any games and then we got Aratoa here look at the artwork for it in dark it's looking so cool 403 but if it lands on a fist, it gets plus 600. It's breaking a 1,000, man. So in a regular fist deck, this is really, really nice for sure. Uh, 1150 and 5 or 1100 and uh, 6. So, yeah, definitely usable. Breaking a 1,000, regular fist deck, Bakugan here for sure. Um, yeah, and the artwork looks so amazing. So last but not least, we got to get that opening action for the two Geogon. So Hyenix, here we go. 3, 2, 1, no bop bop you you don't want to you don't want to come out do you kirkpatrick kirkpatrick there you go like a tail got stuck <laughs> he's like i got you it's just my tail uh, i got a comb it or something but yeah anyways aquas hyenix looking so so cool man and then we've got insectra three two one boom and that crazy opening action the tail just shooting all the way out man it folds out big time like whap hitting the opponent like yeah out of here but yeah dude and sectra looking so awesome in pyrus as well so yeah anyways guys that is going to do it for this review on this absolutely amazing bakugan geogon rising geogon brawler pack featuring uh, Aquas Hyenix and Pyrus Insectra, as well as uh, Oratoa, Ninjaton, and Behemoth. Literally three Bakugan didn't have before the first version of all of them. They're all amazing. I can't wait to see them in other factions, and hopefully they have some pretty good stats. Mainly Behemoth. Uh, 
I want to see like a really good one for because it has an amazing design but like for now this one's only usable for a damage deck honestly that's the only way you're gonna get big time use out of it but still damage decks are a thing and it can still be usable for that but anyways hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to slice the crap out of that like button down below let me know how i did if you're new to my channel definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because i upload daily and if you haven't already be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever i upload a video so yeah guys until next time it is your boy kimbo signing off see you guys later thanks so much for watching until then stay awesome and bakugan bro i'm about here <laughs>